this is the uh, it's the Harry Potter scenario. That is, the government comes in and waves its magic wand, and all th sorts of wonderful things happen. And for that to work, you need a couple of things. One is you've got to have a government that is uh, beneficent. That is, it really, truly, honestly has all of our best interests at heart. So all of these things we think about in the private sector of people are greedy or people are looking out for their self-interest, all of a sudden that, that form of homo sapien that occupies the private sector does not occupy the public sector. So, so immediately the, the government entities are, are comprised of different sorts of humans. Beyond that, the government needs to be omniscient. It has to know exactly what it is every one of us wants. And it has to be omnipotent. It's got to be able to force the best outcome for, for everyone involved. If you want an example of how this doesn't work, consider a very simple case of um, you've got a room full of 20 people and you personally have got to order lunch for all of them. Now, immediately you've got problems of dietary restrictions and what people like and what people don't like. You're going to get it wrong. What's going to happen is for some of these people, you'll order the right lunch. For a lot of them, you won't order the right lunch and they're going to be unhappy. And that's just ordering lunch. Now, imagine trying to direct lots of economic decisions from what type of light bulbs you put in your uh, in your socket at home to what type of gas you put in your car and immediately you see this problem of when the government comes in and attempts to decide for us what's best for us even if it's benevolent it fails because it lacks the necessary information to make those decisions correctly